This is the BBC. This podcast is supported by advertising outside the UK. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts. You're listening to Wednesday's episode of The Archers from BBC Radio 4. Another flap, Jack. Oh, thanks, but no. Slice of lemon drizzle. Not really. It was all delicious, but you have beaten me. Well, I'm very pleased you were able to come round. Yeah, of course. I know how busy you must be, Chris. I don't want to be an imposition. You aren't. Not at all. And this is really important. You're all still her family. You'll always be Martha's great-grand, and that's really important to her. And to me, too. I'm very glad to hear it. And... Well, I owe you a lot, Peggy. How on earth do you make that out? With the conversation we had a few months ago. Oh. When you realised Alice had a problem and you warned me I might have to make some difficult choices. Yes. See, at the time, well, I thought I could never do anything like that. But once Martha arrived, she was so vulnerable, so precious. And Alice could see that too, and she made so many promises. But despite everything... Yeah, even with all that, she just... Couldn't keep off it. The pull of the drink was too strong. Oh, it just killed me. I know some people would never understand it, and sometimes I think, what have I done, you know? But I try and hold on to what you said. No matter how tough it is for me, Martha has to be the priority. Still, it must have been difficult. Hardest thing ever. I think you're very strong. Brave. Well, I could say the same thing about you. It can't have been easy digging it all up again. What it was like having a husband who was an alcoholic. I'm just pleased it turned out to be of some benefit to you. Living with Jack, often it was nothing short of ghastly. But if the lessons I learned help you and Martha avoid some of the pain I went through, then a little good will have come of it. Hmm. Oh, I'm oh, no. sorry. I wasn't expecting her. Oh, oh my goodness. The weather's so funny today. I... Christopher. Hiya, Jennifer. And Martha, what an unexpected treat. Hello, darling. We've been having a little tea party. Oh, how lovely. It has been, but uh, it's time I was going, I'm afraid. Are you sure? Or it's her bedtime. Just ten minutes? I would, but Fallon's popping around for some in. Fallon? Yeah. Oh. I'm sorry, Jennifer. Oh, well, can't be helped, I suppose. <laughs> Give Fallon my, my very best. Won't you? Uh, yeah, sure. I'll, I'll just put these away, shall I? No, no, you get off. OK. Uh, come on then, sweetheart. Yes, uh, I'll tidy up. Let's get you in your car seat. And hopefully I'll see Martha properly very soon. This isn't a bad time, is it? Uh, no, it's all right. It's good to see you. And you? I was a bit surprised when you texted, as we're going to be seeing each other tomorrow anyway. Yeah. And said she's confirmed the booking. That's why I've come round. She hasn't told me where we're going yet, do you know? Chris, don't worry. Harrison's still going to be there. He's really looking forward to it too. But? I'm sorry, I can't. Oh, Fallon. I just wouldn't be comfortable. Is this because of Alice kissing Harrison? No. You've got to understand that I totally know it was all Alice's fault. It was nothing to do with him. She was off her face, completely out of control. Oh, Chris. Yet another thing, she screwed up. Now I can't even plan a night with my mates without it getting in the way. Chris, stop. This is exactly why I can't come. What do you mean? You talking that way about Alice. Well, I get that you feel angry about it. No, 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 you don't. That's the whole problem. What? Well, it's a lot more complicated than that. Well, for me too. Of course. <laughs> but it feels like everyone, even my own husband, we're all being forced to pick a side. Like join Emma in the We Hate Alice Club. Is that really what you want? For you or Martha? I, I'm, I'm sorry you didn't have any time with little Martha. She's a sweetheart. She really is. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. I could see that Christopher had to rush off. Oh, that's generous of you. I know you're not seeing much of her at the moment. Uh, no. Actually... Yes? 
That's why I'm here. I want to bring you up to date with the Alice situation, Mum. Do you? Mm-hmm. It, it was odd, Christopher mentioning Fallon. Following a suggestion of hers, Brian and I have been doing some research. Into? Proper residential treatment for Alice's alcoholism. Oh. Frankly, we're at the end of our tether. And nothing else seems to be working. So, we think it's the only option. Are you sure? Obviously, we need to find a good place before we put it to Alice. I can't see her being very enthusiastic about the idea. Well, at least it's given us some hope. We're both totally committed to getting her well again. You may be. And I wanted to thank you, Mum. Pay credit to you, really. To me? What on earth for? The way you stuck by Dad for all those years. It's really encouraged me not to give up on her. Oh. People are judging her so very harshly at the moment, but... Oh, they don't understand the situation. And you're a shining example that family should never give up on family. But I wish I had, Jennifer. I'm sorry. I think it was a mistake. I don't understand. Oh, dear. What are you trying to say, Mum? I knew Alice was an alcoholic quite a while ago. Quite a while? Well, how long? New Year's Eve is when I knew for certain at the bonfire. I know I should have mentioned something then. New Year's Eve? And I've been trying to tell you, but the longer it went on, the harder it was. You you knew this huge thing and, and you kept it yourself? Not entirely. I did tell Chris. What? Well, I didn't want him to make the same mistake I did. Well, what is this mistake you keep talking about? Jennifer, I've wasted years, decades of my life, trying to make things work with your father. Ignoring, accommodating, pleading, threatening, but never doing the one thing I should have. All out of, oh, I don't know, blind loyalty. Some misplaced sense of duty. And it was pointless. No. What you have to understand is that an alcoholic is all self. They will take, take, take. And even when you think you've got nothing left, they still keep on taking. I should have had more respect for myself. And where does Christopher come into this? I told him not to do what I'd done. He had to put Martha first. You... Are you saying you told him to leave Alice? If it proved necessary, yes. And when did you give him this piece of advice? After I'd realised the truth about Alice on New Year's Eve. So, all those months ago, you could have raised the alarm and we could have rallied round and given Alice the support she needed. But you have to realise... Oh, but instead, you said nothing. No worse, you told Christopher to pull the plug on the marriage. I didn't say Abandon that. Alice and deprive a mother of her child. I hoped it wouldn't come to that. But he had to understand. Does Alice know anything about this? No, no, I don't think. No, no, I'm sure she doesn't. She must never know. Her own grandmother. It would destroy her. This hasn't been easy, you know. Sometimes it, it tears me up inside, but I've done it because of Martha. She's more important than anything. Yeah, I get that. I'm, I'm just saying, right now, OK, Alice might not be that good for her, but you've got to think how things are going to be in the future if she's left out in the cold. How do you mean? OK, look, you know my dad's always been a, a big drinker and there were plenty of times when it was really off the scale... Mum chucked him out when I was quite little, but even so, most of my memories are, are, are pretty bad ones. That's really sad, Fallon. And when I got older, I didn't want to know him, because of how much he'd hurt Mum. Yeah. And I thought I was happy that way, but I was kidding myself. All those years later, when he finally sorted himself out, seeing him and Mum working together at the pub and... Just getting on like normal people has made a big difference to me. Put some heavy things to bed, if you know what I mean. Well, that's great. 
I mean, I'm, I'm really pleased for you, but Fallon Alice is a long way from sorting herself out. Yeah, right now, maybe. But if she's always the villain and, and you and all your family and all your friends have got her as public enemy number one, I promise you that's not going to be good for Martha as she grows up. OK, I can see what you're getting at. I just don't know if I can... Oh, it's such a mess. I hate Alice, but I still love her so much, too. I get it. And I feel guilty and I, I worry about her, but more than anything, I've got to protect Martha. And you're doing a great job. I know how raw things must be right now. Raw is right. I, I just want you to understand that being friends with you doesn't stop me being friends with Alice too. No, it shouldn't. I'm pleased you are. Are you? 100%. Knowing someone's looking out for her when I just can't. I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> so, are you in touch then? Yeah. I saw her yesterday as it happens. How was she? She was all right, to be fair. That's good. Will you, you know, just let me know how she's getting on? Sure. No problem. Thank you. And if I promise not to spend tomorrow evening slagging her off, will you reconsider coming out? Oh, I don't know. I think you can keep Emma off the subject too. I will lay down the law. Alice, free zone. What do you say? All right, then. Awesome. I'll be there. You have to understand, I didn't know things were going to come to a head the way they did. I certainly didn't realise it would happen so soon. But if Alice couldn't stop drinking, I didn't want Chris to make the same mistake that oh, I... Yes, yes, you keep on saying that. He needed to know that he could, he should, act in Martha's best interests. And what about Alice's best interest? It's in her interest, too. To have a baby torn away from her? There's no need to be so dramatic, Jennifer. Martha is safe and being looked after by people who love her. It's certainly better than if Chris had walked out and left the baby with her. That would have been disastrous for both of them. But if you hadn't interfered, he would have stayed. You don't know that. No one wants to see a marriage break up. But at least it takes the pressure off her. I don't know how you can say that. All right, Alice might have been struggling, but it was Christopher abandoning her that sent her right off the rails. Actually, I think she was pretty far off the rails already. But you made things ten times worse. With not saying anything to us and then telling him to... Oh, oh I'm sorry, Mum. But I don't see how I'll ever be able to forgive you. <laughs> 